The Rochester man known as the tallest man in the U.S. has passed away. Igor Volkovinsky died on Friday at Mayo Clinic St. Mary's. He was 38 years old and stood at nearly 8 feet tall. A native of Ukraine, Igor moved to Rochester as a young boy for medical treatment at Mayo Clinic. But as our Barrett Leon explains, while Igor may have gotten notoriety for his height, he is remembered by his heart. Barrett. Well, Tom, Caitlin, we spoke with some of Igor's former teachers that watched him grow up, who got to witness his adventures and struggles. Dubbed the tallest man in America, Igor Vavkovinsky made Rochester his home at just seven years old. At that time, in 1989, he was already six feet tall. This is a picture of Igor when he was in fifth grade with all the other kids who were in my class. If you look at him, you cannot tell by looking at that picture that he was so tall. And that's kind of how he felt in the classroom. His growth, caused by an issue with his pituitary gland, never seemed to slow him down. Well, we got a lot of looks as uh, we, we would walk into the gymnasium. Uh, Igor um, captured those people's attention, of course, but um, but he was always embraced by everybody that he was around. But those who knew Igor. It wasn't always about his height, it was about him as a person. Remember him for more than just his size. He's a very caring individual and somebody who um, was so appreciative of just the simple things that so many of the rest of us take for granted in life, um, whether it be walking through a doorway or having a pair of shoes that, that fit just right. We always refer to him as the gentle giant, but he was also kind of uh, secretively very, very passionate about other uh, things in our community and oftentimes was volunteering or giving back. Every time I saw him, he would give me a big hug. And, you know, he's towering above me, giving me this hug. Um, he was absolutely adorable, and he was that way with everybody. His death, not just a loss felt by his friends and family, but the entire Rochester community. I really have watched what he's done, and I've been so proud of what he's done. That embraced him, and he embraced right back. It feels like home to us now, yeah. To hear that news was very... Um, very heart-wrenching for us um, as a JM community and, and I think as, as a community as a whole in Rochester, Igor kind of held a special place in all of our hearts. A memorial service will be held at the Ranfrans and Vine Funeral Home on this coming Saturday at 2 p.m. Tom Kalen.